Hey Central families, welcome to Field Day 2020. This is our virtual at home field day. My field day is gonna happen right here in my basement, probably in my backyard, probably also in my living room. I don't know where your virtual field day will happen, but you can figure that out at your home. I sent you five different choices for virtual field day practice this week. So check out the five different choices. I'm gonna show you all five activities right now and you can decide which one you wanna practice and tell me about for your assignment for phys ed this week. Next week, I will have five different activities. The week after that, I'll have some more activities all leading up to May 8th. That is National Virtual Field Day. We'll join other schools all around the whole country who are also at home instead of at school and participating in virtual field days on social media on May 8th. So here are my field day activities for this week. Your first option is paper airplane cone hole. So I have my three paper airplanes. I decorated them with my markers. Mrs. Levenstein would be so proud of me. I have my laundry basket. My dirty laundry is in a pile upstairs, no problem. So I'm gonna try three shots. Okay. Ready? First plane, one. because I got one plane in my bin. Uh, Mrs. Levenstein would be proud of me. I decorated all of my paper planes. I gave them each a different little theme and some nice hopeful rainbows like chalk your walk rainbows. So that was paper plane cone hole. Here is the towel flip challenge. I happened to have a small blanket, so I'm choosing that. It's about the same size as a beach towel. I've laid it out on the ground down here, and I'm going to see if I can make the whole thing flip over. I have to stay standing on the towel. I can't step off of it. I can't move my feet while I'm flipping it. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to Hold the towel up. I'm like halfway there, but now I'm not quite sure where to put my feet. I guess if I get my feet to the edge, and then maybe I can step on the edge over here and keep on folding until I find, woo, the other edge. I think I got it. There it is. I flipped my towel over for the towel flip challenge onto the other side. Not too tough. So our next one is the cup bowling, cup band bowling. So I have 10 cups and I'm going to put them right at the edge of the table because I want them to fall off. I have a paper plate. I can try fanning them. I also have my balloon to blow up. Let's see how that goes. Hey, you should have your own balloon. You probably should not be sharing balloons with other people. Being that I'm going to put my mouth on it and get it all germy. So when I'm done, I will wash my hands. Nice and clean. I bet it's going to make some good balloon noises. Ah, I got only two cups. Here we go. Woo! Three more cups. Woohoo! I'm going to reset it and try it with the paper plate. Okay, ten cups laid out at the edge of my table, and I'm going to try the paper plate this time and see if I can fan them off. Here we go. I 
definitely like the paper plate. The balloon worked, but I don't know how many times I can blow up this balloon. That was tough. Gone. Hey, don't forget to clean up when you're done. My next field day activity is called soccer ski ball. I have my soccer balls and the answers to your questions are yes, they are my socks, but they're clean. And yes, I'm probably gonna have to do more laundry when I'm done, but that's okay, because some days I stay in my pajamas all day, so I don't do as much laundry right now. And I have my ski ball set up going here. I took my laundry basket and inside it I put a bucket that we keep um, dish towels in and I have a Tupperware container so I'm going to line them up kind of like a ski ball so that they're one in a row. I get one point for the laundry basket and five points for the blue bin and ten points if I could get it into the little Tupperware container. So I'm going to have to kick my soccer balls up into the air. Let's see how it goes. Try number one. Oh, way over the, the bin. Two. Nothing. Three. Oh, in the laundry basket, one point. So keep practicing your field day events. Pick one to let me know that you did for your assignment. You can email me. If you are in kindergarten, first or second grade, you can send me a message on Class Dojo. If you are in third grade, you can send me a message on my Phys Ed Google Classroom. If you haven't signed up for Class Dojo or the Google Classroom in third grade, let your parents know because that is where you will find all of these assignments. Next week, I'll post more field day activities there as well. So this is Mrs. Sullivan reminding you to stay active.